Parkinson's disease is a devastating neurodegenerative disorder with no actual cure. Our patients are struggling with their daily activities. Definitively medication are good and substantially improve mother symptoms, but very soon during the disease course the fluctuation, dyskinesia and further motor and no motor complication arise and severely impair the daily living. Deep brain stimulation is an effective evidence-based therapy to relieve motor symptoms. We know it is very effective, however, long time we did not know how it acts. New neuroimaging and electrophysiological studies brought Thursday sites in the last years this work methodologically explains why and how the deep brain stimulation works. Several studies have shown that deep brain stimulation modulates oscillatory activities in the subthalamic nucleus, especially in the beta band, which is pathologically elevated in Parkinson's disease. In this study, our focus was not the modulation within the STM, Given its position as a central hub connecting many different regions of the brain, a pressing question is how the stimulation translates to all these regions. Here we used high-density EEG, which is a non-invasive recording technique, in patients who have been treated with deep brain stimulation for at least six months. We used the volume of tissue that is activated by the stimulation and used this as a reference to identify distant regions that show coherent activities. With this approach, we show that DBS modulates brain oscillations in a great number of regions simultaneously. Beta oscillations, for example, which are thought to maintain the status quo, are reduced. Gamma oscillations, on the other hand, which could rather promote flexible processing of information, are enhanced by DBS. This is, however, only the case for stimulation frequencies that are commonly used in the clinic and show a marked motor improvement. Importantly, we demonstrate that gamma oscillations are not only characterized by an overall power increase, but that the amplitude of a finely tuned gamma band is coupled to the amplitude of the stimulation frequency in the subthalamic nucleus. The cross-frequency coupling is closely linked to the motor symptom severity and its modulation specific to the applied DBS frequency for clinical improvement. This shows that clinically effective deep brain stimulation of the subthalamic nucleus differentially modifies oscillatory activity in a vast network of cortical and subcortical region. Furthermore, the results suggest that an entrainment of narrowband gamma oscillations promote dynamical neuronal processes and this supports the improvement of motor function in patients with Parkinson's disease. Thus, stimulation of the subthalamic nucleus alters activities in several interconnected regions. Such network-wide effects could lead to a reduction of network-wide pathological activities. Future studies, which include methods for directed connectivity, could significantly contribute to uncovering the possible mechanism causing our observations.